Hello everyone, it's Duck 7 Today I'm trying out slightly different breakout build from the ones I did uh, last week. Okay, so in this build we're playing slightly more creatures. So basically in this build uh, there's almost like no chance to break on the breakout. Uh, the worst case uh, you will get put a Scion uh, in your hand in your Leyline Scion combo build. So uh, 24 creature means a really breakout should be at its best here. Uh, Ragavan uh, only one drop uh, are uh, in in this list. As I said, explained in the last list, basically burning three emissary in this breakout builds is replacing wild Nakatal. It's like a creature you get to play for free on turn two, and then all your most of your spells are like red or green, so you can play anything with the breakout, uh, except a leyland binding. Uh, initially, I started this build with tribal flames, but switched to and the heddle bindings on the sideboard, and uh, switched to the leyland bindings in the main instead because. Uh, I had too many uh, two drops, uh, too many cards uh, to play on turn two, and uh, I wanted to uh, have a better uh, mana curve. So I added bindings uh, to the main, and binding is just a powerful card, so it can hurt definitely. Okay, so uh, in this build, uh, having more creatures, uh, having uh, less instants. Uh, less sorceries, so I trimmed on the goyfs, but for sure uh, I, one inti, one brawler can be trimmed to add like uh, two tarma goyfs, if that's a setup you prefer. But uh, this in this deck breakout is phenomenal, it's one of the strongest cards in the deck and it's a replacement for uh, tribal flames in other uh, zoo builds. So. Uh, for example, just consider this a regular zoo and consider burning three emissary replacement for Valna cattle. Consider breakout a replacement for uh, tribal flames, and uh, you just added more creatures to the list instead of those usual uh, two, three, four stubborn denials in the main. Uh, so uh, we have a couple of stubborn denials uh, in the sideboard. You can play more of those uh, there if you need and some very efficient sideboard cards. I have pick your poison, force of figures, uh, more uh, titan hate like a damping sphere, obsidian charma and uh, uh, we have uh, endurance and stubborn denial for decks like uh, Gorios. Force of Figures, Pick Your Poison, Damping Spheres for uh, Amulets uh, and uh, Tr Obs Obsidian Charmo, all also there for Tron. I can see maybe trimming uh, one of these cards to add like a third Stubborn Denial, but I'm pretty happy overall with this uh, setup sideboard. Okay, so um, that is it. Um, we will go to the gameplay, but uh, I, uh, just one thing I want to point out before. Uh, I think uh, the other breakout uh, build I had last uh, week on my channel, it's not that this is upgrade to this build. These are like two slightly different takes uh, on the breakout build. One plays slightly more um, interaction and this one plays slightly more uh, creatures. They are very similar, uh, very very similar but slightly different with some significant changes in the main and in the side. And that's it. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that a comparison to the other list. It's not updated list. It's just slightly different take on the list. Okay, so um, uh, before we go to the gameplay, uh, I want to introduce you to my uh, sponsor, Cardelk.com. They offer reusable tokens. So uh, if you buy uh, this product, you get uh, multiple pieces of cardboard like this, empty ones and the marker uh, designed especially for uh, this product. And uh, these tokens are completely sleeveable in any sleeves. Uh, they ship worldwide and you can dry erase anything you uh, put on them. Uh, if you have good drawing skills, you can really create a fun 
uh, tokens uh, like this uh, you can ask somebody to do it for you you can protect them in the sleeve hold them if you really like them if you don't need them anymore you just dry erase what you have on them make another token i think this is like a really practical solution for guys like me uh, playing uh, magic i have always multiple decks uh, two three commander decks two three modern decks in my bag a pioneer deck and it's impossible to get tokens for all those when i get those tokens uh in the meantime i create new decks and it's just not working out for me this is like a really practical solution uh, in my case and i think a lot of people uh, will agree uh, on this that uh, something like this is definitely needed when you are uh, your paper player that uh, changes the decks frequently and i think it's a very practical solution okay so other than that recently i introduced a dictionary patreon like a page where i'm creating additional content to my youtube content okay uh, i just recently started this so far in the medium tire a subscription i offer two uh, cyber guides we have blue zoo cyber guide and regular zoo cyber guide there will be more of those in the future uh, all guides will be av available in the uh, tier 3 subscription but a uh, uh, lot of them will also be available uh, here okay so from the future i will make one guide for this tire and one guide for both tires and then uh, go uh, uh, every other guide will uh, follow the similar process also uh, there is a basic tire which allows you to just uh, access to my deck vault and show basic support to my work okay so thanks and let's switch now to the gameplay okay so um, in this build I got some really, uh, especially uh, in the f initial version where I played Tribal Flames, I got some crazy, crazy uh, fast um, uh, wins. And I got multiple 4-1 uh, uh, leagues with this build. I, I think I played two, both ended up very well, strong finishes. I think it was a two, uh, uh, I think it was a two, uh, four, one leagues. Deck felt really good. Okay, here I went for the breakout and um, I find the Sion of Jaco. So even if I didn't play, put the Sion of Jaco immediately into play, I have already Leyline on the field and next turn I'm able to go uh, land uh, Leyline plus Sion and my opponent immediately concedes i'm not sure if they were screwed or not but uh, it was very very fast game one so let's check out game two okay let's also check the sideboarding plan uh, burning three emissary uh, just trimming on inti ragavan emissary a bit to add cards like um at <clears throat> add, add some uh, uh, adding couple of removal I have on the sideboard try to fight this uh, I'm not sure didn't didn't uh, have uh, any idea what my opponent is uh, playing but they're playing uh, convoke and uh, the deck was uh, kind of uh, popular uh, last week on the MTGO a uh, faced it a lot of times okay so here opponent was um, attacking me for a lot of damage going wide with their uh, small creatures and uh, my opponent was on 10 it was my last chance to try to kill them uh, i do uh, the territorial cow ability inti ability and unfortunately uh, this time i bricked with uh, breakout so uh, I wasn't able to do much and didn't find anything I need. Uh, so that was the game. Let's check out uh, game three. Okay, so here starting with Leyline 2, pretty decent hand, uh, Kavu, uh, Brawler, and breakout uh, probably just playing 
breakout. Uh, Kawo on turn 2, then breakout plus bolt on turn 3. Opponent starts off with a pretty good start, uh, immediately um, pumping the warden. I decide to just immediately kill this warden before it becomes uh, too large. And um, my opponent creates a lot of these tokens. I block with Kavu, play the Leyland Binding take one of the creatures, uh, play the land, play the scion, and now I have a scion plus a cavo. this is game over for any aggro deck like this one, to, uh, gaining too much life and they can't do anything about it, so that is pretty a quick uh, scion kill in both games, uh, I won, okay, so let's check out uh, match 2. Okay, so uh, starting a second here, but I have a turn one binding and Dragavan. I have a turn two, um, a turn two Sion Draco. This is as good as it gets. Okay, so I decided to go for the Dragavan anyway. My opponent has to kill the Dragavan, and I still, uh, I still can draw a land or just play the binding if needed. But I did draw a land and uh, I've played my Scion, opponent has a subtlety. Which is fine, they have to have another solution for it. I have my Scion on top, which is pretty hard for them to deal with. So finally I resolve the Scion, play my uh, survey land, put Bolt in the graveyard and pass the turn. Okay, so uh, here uh, opponent is playing a blue-white deck which means they're probably playing Teferi. Teferi is a good response to uh, the Leyland Scion combo. Mostly decks that play Teferi plus Solitude uh, have a good way around this, like bouncing Leyland and Solituding the Scion. But in this situation, uh, I already had a Territorial Cow on the field, uh, too much uh, damage going on, and I decide to keep my second Leyland in hand in case they play something like Supreme Verdict, but they concede on their turn. And that was the win. Okay, let's check out game two. Okay, so again. You can see me trimming uh, some cards like uh, Burning Tree Emissary, just the one-offs like uh, trimming some creatures, Inti, Burning Tree Emissary, Breakout to get uh, get some uh, space to uh, put some sideboard cards in the deck. Uh, Pick Your Poison is mostly great card against decks that play a Ring and the Leyland Binding. Uh, mostly it's a worth inclusion. Okay, so, but in this deck we also have 4 Inti, 4 Kavos, which help us uh, discard uh, cards we don't need, like uh, Ley Lines, uh, Pick Your Poisons. Uh, my opponent played a uh, non-usual list. They had Sheldred, I didn't really expect, expect something like Sheldred in their deck, so wasn't well prepared for it. Okay, so here I uh, find a land and uh, because of it I'm able to play uh, my ley line. Kill their uh, Vrenna 6, maybe I should have uh, attacked uh, just uh, them face. Okay, so opponent uh, just kills uh, my Scion. Uh, I go continue attacking with a uh, big knee brawler and uh, they staying back with the Sheldred, I get to play uh, Kavu and the Scion and the Brawler, so opponent now goes for the Elish Norn plus Leyland Binding, pretty pretty powerful play by them and uh, this is the play I won't be able to recover from. I have the Kavu plus Inti, this means I get to draw a card and exile two cards with uh, Inti which is great but not enough to do something here and yeah that is a game over okay so let's check out game 3 okay so 
this is uh, this is a decent keep but uh, don't have full domain at the moment okay so I go for a breeding pool and the sacred foundry go for my uh, emissary then I can go for the breakout uh, if I find uh, I had a brawler and Ragavan I decide to choose uh, Ragavan Ragavan provides me extra mana here which means I have 4 mana next turn to play my Sino Jaco. that is why I decided to go for it opponent uh, kills my Ragavan and I'm ha very happy with just being able to um, play my Sino Jaco for 4 but I did find a fetch and I was able to just uh, Played Xander's Lounge and the Scion of Jaco. Okay, so now for mana, I try to cast my Ley Line for the combo. Opponent has a counter here, but uh, they're still taking a 6 from uh, Emissary and Draco. This means they're on 7 and I have very close to lethal next turn. Okay, so now opponent take endings my Emissary, but uh, Scion is still there. They're holding 2 blue mana, probably something like a counter spell. And yeah, I go uh, for attack with uh, Scion. I go for attack with Scion, hold uh, Lightning Bolt until they do something. They kill my Scion, I uh, surveil uh, Scion on top. I fear them having a counter spell, so I didn't want to play my Bolt. Then I played Scion on Draco. They use the counter spell on it and then I just finish the game with the bolt. That is it. Okay, that is the match. So let's check out match 3. Okay, so uh, playing against a ley line. Uh, I decide to go for uh, Ragavan turn 1. I don't have a full domain anyway, so there's no point going for the Xander's Lounge here. Uh, turn 1, okay, they go for um, Leyland Binding, my uh, Ragavan. But I have Leyland Binding too, so I can take it if needed. Opponent uh, tries to dash Ragavan. I have a Bolt and I just uh, fetch. Uh, a temple garden uh, on my turn I can now uh, take I can now use a black mana to double spell here uh, San on Jacob plus hold the Leyland binding didn't want to binding their binding yet yet or Leyland of the guild pact whatever I was just holding the binding in case they draw their scion which is then pot potentially big problem or just Kavu is also very nasty, so I definitely want to take Kavu immediately. Uh, put Brawler on the field and start attacking here, playing a fetch, which allows me to surveil end of their turn. Uh, they uh, iteration for um, uh, for a land and bolt my Brawler. This is fine, so I play. Uh, uh, survey land, keep uh, Inti on top, do the ability with Inti, uh, trying to find additional threat, put counter on my Scion. Now my Scion is a 5-5, five five, which can be very relevant in uh, the mirrors. And of course, as you can see here, it was very, very relevant. I put myself into a situation where... Um, where uh, they have to jump with their uh, super scion but uh, i had binding to take their ley line to prevent them from gaining life but opponent has force of negation and then top decks another scion on top so this means uh, well this now means i can attack i have inti i can uh, put another counter on my scion uh, Put them on two life if they want to attack it's fine next turn they'll have to jump again i find a territorial cabo great great stuff here all of this just uh, makes this mirror so much better a breakout makes the mirror so much better helping you find more cows more sino jacos more intis these cards just win in these mirror games and that is uh, that is the game there let's check out game two
Okay, so let's check out the sideboarding plan. Trimming on the emissary a bit, uh, inti, and um, some bolts. Uh, so bolts are pretty useless uh, when you have a better removal. I, if I have only bolt, I will use it. It can kill a brawler, Ragavan, of course, but uh, it doesn't kill a uh, Kabu, it doesn't kill a Scion, so it's not a perfect uh, card for the matchup. I and I think it's better uh, on the draw if you have to protect yourself against uh, Wild Nekatel and uh, the Ragavan, but this deck uh, doesn't actually play uh, Wild Nekatel, so the bolt is much, much worse here. Okay, so. I was able to uh, play uh, Kao here and pass the turn definitely planning on my opponent keeping uh, white mana open but yeah I decide to go for the binding uh, I should have may maybe I should have waited their turn but then uh, I let them use uh, a counter spell opponent uh, was able to uh, attack for four here and we start a race uh, I wanted to play, uh, I wanted definitely wanted to play my uh, Inti here before combat, I think I accidentally skipped it. But since I didn't, uh, since this didn't happen, I decided to change my game plan and go for uh, Nishoba Brawler. And this means my opponent doesn't have a uh, lethal next turn, uh, they can only attack for 7. So once they didn't attack with uh, subtlety, I can uh, surveil on the next turn, play uh, play Inti, and my opponent uh... Okay, so opponent trades with Brawler, jumps my uh, Kawu here, and I play a Scion as a blocker for their Scion opponent has only one card in their hand and they uh, take my scion for the win uh, that was it okay so let's check out game tree so using a couple of pick your poisons a couple of force of figures in this matchup i like always uh, using two force of figures for this matchup i never use more even if i have them on the side i think like two two or three pick your poisons and two force of figures are like perfect okay so here i start uh, starting first uh, have a territorial cavo double cavo and also double force of figure opponent has uh, Leyline of the Guild Pact and Leyline Binding, they play Sign of Kavu, so perfect hand for them, but I have a perfect response, which is a Force of Vigor, uh, taking both their enchantments and attacking with Kavu, so putting Leyline in the graveyard and two Kavus on the field, now opponent is in a hard situation, they have a double fetch on the field, which means they have to, uh, sh they have to uh, use life, to uh, get mana there, so I have my. Um, I decided to discard Brawler here. Maybe that wasn't a great solution, uh, but yeah, this is great trade. Uh, Scion plus Bolt for my one of my Kavus, and um, yeah, I'm kind of sorry I discarded that Brawler because they traded with Scion, and now I have a pick your poison stuck in my hand but opponent uh, finds another sign of Draco and that is a uh, kill immediate kill this turn so uh, game over okay so let's check out uh, match number four Okay, so I can uh, just playing first. I can just uh, play my uh, all the all two, two drops, so I can just go for Sano Draco on turn two. Opponent uh, starting with uh, Arboreal Grazer. I have no idea what they're playing, but yeah, they went uh, Grazer into the binding. So I suppose it's something like a five color scape shift. So I just go for the Ragavan plus a Scion, and opponent resolves the one ring. 
Uh, well, I can't do much, but what I can do here is trigger Inti and uh, cycle that land and get the Brawler. So Brawler on the field means a uh, lot of lot of damage next turn. And the opponent uh, uses the Pyroclasm, kill two of my creatures, but I still have a Brawler and I still have uh, Scion and I can uh, dash Ragavan, attack with uh, Inti. That is a lot of damage and it's actually enough for the lethal. Opponent loses uh, 2 damage in their upkeep with 1 ring, so that is the mat that is the game, so let's check out game 2. Ok, also check out the sideboarding plan against I guess uh, what is a 5 color scape shift. So uh, against uh, Van and 6 decks I mostly just trim 1 Ragawan on the play, I uh, trimmed uh, 1 Inti, uh, one breakout and two bolts. Bolts don't do much. Okay, I get uh, uh, my triumph here. I go for uh, full domain, play the territorial cow, start pressuring my opponent. With uh, if you can get like a breakout uh, in the following turn, this type of hands can be extremely uh, powerful. Okay, so I go for uh, Ragavan. Uh, Ragavan with breakout is actually pretty decent uh, hit uh, opponent goes uh, dryad opponent goes for the dryad and tries to do valaco damage but in response i go take the leyline binding and take their dryad okay so uh, i go a double bolt here kill both of their blockers connect with ragavan put them down to 16 hoping to find something on top Opponent has another portable hole, but yeah, I'm going end of turn taking that hole, uh, get my Kavu back. Kavu then recycles uh, useless cards from my hand. I play two Kavus and Inti basically present lethal for the next turn. So yeah, my opponent uh, finds a good card here. Boseju getting back Vren. Uh, Vren getting back Boseju, killing another Leyline, pretty good, but not enough. And um, I uh, this uh, Inti plus Kau is pretty sick, so uh, I kill the Vren here, so they can't use the Boseju anymore. Play the Burning Tree Emissary, play the, another Kau, so basically presenting a lethal for the next turn again, and this time opponent doesn't find a solution, so uh, that is uh, the match. Okay, so let's us watch the final match of this league. Another trophy match, which I lost. So many, so many of them this season. I didn't play as much as usual, but yeah, lost incredible amount of this. Uh, Trophy matches. Okay, so here mulligan to a uh, five, but it seems like a decent mulligan. I can go uh, turn two emissary into brawler. That is seven power, seven power on the field. Follow up with Inti. That is that is pretty decent for a mulligan to uh, five. Okay, so here I go temple garden, do my thing. Play my brawler, opponent goes for Zagat Triumph, so this means they're also playing probably Domain. Uh, they going for the Preordain and the Leyland Binding taking my uh, brawler. This is still a pretty nice situation for me. I get to uh, play uh, Attack with Emissary, play my uh, Inti, uh, pass the turn. If they play some threat like Kawa, I have. I have binding here, so pretty good. Uh, I take their Kavu attack. Even if they uh, have binding, I can still um, I can still bolt a Kavu if they uh, block uh, my creature with it, and that's exactly what happened. But it's it's fine. I had a bolt to finish Kavu, and I had another Inti in my hand. Okay, opponent finds Sino Draco, which makes my situation a lot worse, but I also got the Scion. And I have Inti in my hand, I can make my Scion bigger than theirs, which is then... Uh, which can be definitely a big problem for them. 
Okay, so I attack with Scion, we trade for Scions, I play another Scion. So it's interesting a Scion battle here. They go for the Fable and attack with, uh, yeah, I should have, I should have, I should have blocked the Scion here. I should have blocked the Scion here. So if I block the Scion here, I would uh, be able maybe to uh, try to wait for a top deck, but yeah, uh, that didn't happen. So let's check out uh, game two. Okay, so here now I had a pretty good um, start against them. Uh, Leyline Scion combo and I also have Force of Figure. Uh, for their combo, pretty ideal hand, I would say. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay, again, uh, similar to before, trimming on uh, Bolt, trimming on Inti, trimming on Emissary, Breakout a bit to include Force of Figures, uh, pick your poisons. Opponent takes my um, Leyland of the Guild Pact. Uh, this is fine. I have, uh, I have a Force of Figure in my hand to destroy it. I can continue pressuring the opponent with a uh, Scion. I have also Nishoba Brawler. Pretty, pretty, um, uh, pretty good start here. Doesn't get much better than this, but opponent has Bolt plus Pick Your Poison. Uh, amaz two amazing um, solutions uh, in this uh, game for one mana, killing both of my creatures. And okay, here I go for the Inti. With the breakout, continue pressuring opponent. I have a uh, force of vigor to get my uh, ley line back, but I kind of uh, want to do. Uh, maybe I, uh, I shouldn't play this land. Probably it wasn't a great idea. Okay, opponent here starts attacking with cow. It's pretty even game. They still have a uh, three cards in their hand, but I have a removal here for uh, binding and uh, scion. Opponent kills. My Inti in, unfortunately kills my Inti in response, so I am in a problem here. I decide to put myself on 10, it is a bit risky, but uh, surveil was good and I find the Kavu, so um, it, it was probably like a good decision. Opponent also goes down to 10. And yeah, oh, so since uh, this uh, version is slightly different, than uh, other usual decks I have. I kept uh, I kept a slightly different mana base as you can notice. Uh, in this this whole build is like a, a red green based and I modified my mana base a bit to accommodate this uh, change. So but opponent had a really aggressive like uh, a win here with uh, just killing my threats and then uh, attacking two times with Kavu, finishing me off with double bolt and yeah that was it okay so uh, uh, I had a perfect hand in that last match but opponent had all the perfect uh, solutions and game was pretty cool uh, but lost that one uh, didn't go well usually uh, I was doing good against uh, this uh, domain uh, mirrors, uh, Inti was uh, very good in the mirrors, also the breakout and uh, I felt like mirrors are going mostly in my favor but yeah this one, the most important one for the trophy didn't go that way. Okay so that is it. Uh, what I would consider uh, in this build is as I said in the beginning maybe adding third stubborn denial to the side and also maybe adding uh, one or two Tarmogoyfs instead of uh, Inti, uh, one fourth Inti, fourth Brawler, uh, getting two Tarmogoyfs in like this. The, so that is the change I'm considering at the moment. Uh, Brawler is definitely better uh, breakout hit on turn two and three, but uh, later in the game, um, uh, Inti, uh, you will sometimes have Inti on the field and hit Inti with the breakout so you'll be forced to put it into your hand which is not ideal I think having maybe a slightly more um, uh, variance here and uh, slightly more choices in getting the ability to hit a uh, goif sometimes when it's large uh, I think it's decent for the breakout build so that is definitely something I would consider uh, 
and it still keeps your green card count uh, same or even better with the two goals so that is it um, okay so that's it for today uh, i'm very very interested to hear your thoughts about uh, comparing this build to the last week uh, breakout build from my channel okay so very interested to hear this because i will be making sideboard guide for one of these two builds uh, depending on uh, for which build i get more uh, requests for the uh, sideboard guides their sideboard guide will be available on my um, dictionary profile as i explained earlier okay so that is it uh, thank you for watching again friendly reminder to click like click subscribe and also comment and okay so thanks for watching and goodbye